Welcome back guys to another crazy cyberpunk video. I hope you had a wonderful weekend farming enough money for all your future characters with the new money glitch. And today I will show you the new best XP farm for patch 1.6. With this new method you will get all your weapon skills up to level 20, max out your whole character and it will take you no less than 1 hour to do so. The key thing is that you don't farm in Pacifica any longer, because a lot of NPCs have been removed, this is not the best spot. There is a far better spot located in Haywood and I call it the El Coyote Trail, because it involves running around the El Coyote bar killing 37 enemies every 2 minutes giving you 8000 XP per run. You will be able to max out all your weapons in a matter of minutes, not hours. This is absolutely crazy, I have maxed out my whole character doing this. To get the most out of this XP farm and level up as quickly as possible, you have to go to the apartment in the Glen and take a nap. Because whenever you wake up, you have a 1 hour XP boost. That is a real 1 hour, not an in game hour, it really gives you a 1 hour XP boost. And that XP boost is 20%, so it is really a lot. You should also set your wake up time to 6 am in the morning, because some of these NPCs are not present overnight. Then you have the whole in game day of Cyberpunk to actually perform this farm. The coffee in the Glen apartment also dramatically improves your running speed, so definitely take a drink as well. When you've done everything correctly, you should see the XP button and the speed button next to your health bar being available for the next 59 minutes. The fastest and easiest way if you are mainly looking for getting more XP is the blade setup. I would recommend to use the Jinchi Maru with cold shoulder mods, you don't have to focus on any crit chance or crit damage with this weapon, because this is the most efficient blade in the game, it deals the most damage thanks to its combo multipliers, you don't have to focus on crit. For the cyberware I would recommend you to get some of the bioconductor mods which reduce the cooldown of your mods, you can go for Kerensikov and nano relays, but it is not needed, that is optional and up to you. You should go for an optical camo mod, especially if you want to do that with pistols and with rifles and for blades I really recommend you to use a berserk mod for example the Militech berserk mark 5 for increased melee damage put in a beast mode put in two more bruising berserks with this berserk combination you can easily double or triple your damage without relying on crit chance of course you can also use some lower end mods or just simply play on easy to one shot your enemies, that's completely up to you. The start and end point for this whole XP farming run is of course the El Coyote bar. We are now in front of the El Coyote bar and I will also insert a mini map so that you can see where we are on this map. Every number on this mini map stands for a group of enemies. There are either groups with 3 enemies or 5 or even 8 enemies. We will exit the El Coyote bar through the back door and run straight along the long alleyway here in the back side of the El Coyote bar. There is one group of three enemies on the left side between those two parking cars. Quickly kill them and then turn around, go through the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel on the right side there's a next group of three enemies which you can quickly kill with your blade. It should be very easy to kill them without notifying the next which is standing around the grill. If you do this perfectly you will never notify the next group. The next group is already waiting behind the corner. Then simply go through the opening, there are two cars with another group in between. Simply kill them as well. Turn around and to the far right there is another group sitting on the sofas. These groups are so close to each other, but if you kill them quickly they will never be notified. That is the reason why you should use blades if you only want to go for XP, because with blades you are able to kill them so quickly without turning it into a whole mess. There is one group waiting in a niche alongside the alley and another one at the end of the road. These two are the most likely groups to be notified by previous fights, so make sure you kill them all quickly before these can be notified. Right across the street you will find an NCPD location which contains 8 enemies. This is the biggest location in the loop and you should make sure to save your optical camo for this location in every loop. At least 2 of the enemies in this location have some Sandevistan mods which makes them really hard to hit especially with ranged weapons. But with blades it is very easy and when you are camouflaged they don't even notice you. Just try to kill as many as you can before they notice you and then most likely there are 2 or 3 running around the whole location which you have to hunt down. Once you get your 400 or 900 credits for completing the location, you can move on to the next one. 
The next group consists of a dancing group of people around the car and some of them can be killed and they are marked as enemies. However, I always switch to my pistol because I don't want to risk accidentally killing a civilian. If you kill a civilian, you can easily get a police star and the police is tracking you down. This should definitely be avoided. The people around this car will likely not respawn in the second round, but it doesn't matter because they are stupid to kill anyway. When you are done with this location, simply head all the way back down to the El Coyote bar. This is a very long run, but it is needed to actually reset your enemies and the game will also automatically save during that time. Simply head straight through the El Coyote bar, exit to the back side and all your enemies will be reset. You can then simply continue the loop from the beginning. You can repeat this as often as you want to and you will get over 8000 XP for every run. However, you should not bother collecting any gear or items which are lying around. It is just a waste of time to collect this every time. Just focus on getting XP and when you are done, you can still collect everything. It will still be there. Since handguns are very annoying to level up, I've also a special handgun setup to level up your handgun skill. For that I recommend you use a Death and Texas pistol and equip it with an XC Strix silencer. This silencer gives you 10% crit chance, then equip simply 3 more penetrator mod for another 9% crit chance, 1 crunch mod and a Kanotsugu optics. In your cyberware, when you play with pistols, it is absolutely mandatory that you go for an optical camo to maintain your stealth damage multiplier. And you should also switch to a Sandivista mod and preferably use 3 heat sinks or 2 heat sinks and 1 crit chance mod. These crit chance mods don't stack, so you can only use one anyway. That way, you will get 37% crit chance on your pistol and another 23% on your character sheet. That will give you a total of 60% crit chance. But when you activate Sandivistan, you will get another 20% crit chance from your Sandivistan mod, giving you 43% from your character sheet. So this will be 80% in total. But since the Death in Texas fires two shots every time, you actually have a 96% chance that at least one of these shots will be a critical hit. The chance that both shots will be not critical is only 4%. So that means that when you activate Sandivistan, this weapon will actually have 96% crit chance. And that helps a lot when you do this pistol run. We will also start in the El Coyote bar, simply exit to the backside, run across the whole alleyway and then turn left. And before you turn left now, this time activate Camo and activate Sandivistan. Then you simply execute all these enemies with very precise headshots as quickly as you can. Don't reload, simply turn around, go through the tunnel, headshot all the three enemies from the next group and if you are really quick, if you can make it in time, your camo will still be active when you are at the third group and you can kill all your first nine enemies while you are still in active camo. You can then activate Sandivistan for the next group, but since your optical camo is still in cooldown, you will likely need two or three shots. And that will most likely alert the next group and the group after that. So it is most likely the case that you will create some kind of mess here, which you will have to clean up anyway. This is almost unavoidable, but you should definitely save your optical camo for the big NCPD location with all those eight enemies. This is way more important. If you are getting in trouble at this point, you can also simply activate your Sandivistan again. It has a very small cooldown of only 4 to 5 seconds. However, your optical camo has a way bigger cooldown and you really have to wait for it. As you can see, I easily leveled up my handgun skill to level 20 while capturing footage for this video. It is really really fast and very easy to do. If you have done everything almost perfectly, then the other two groups here in the alleyway and at the end of the street should still be waiting for you. So if you didn't create too much of a mess before, then this should be very easy targets and you should save your camo mod for the next big location. Of course, I picked footage for this run, which was almost perfect, which didn't create a huge mess, so everyone was still standing in their positions. When you are entering the next big location, make sure that you only activate your optical camo and your Sandivistan right when you met your first enemies. These enemies can be standing on different positions, but most of the time they are all standing around the car in the center of this location. So when you enter this, you can simply activate your camo before the first enemy sees you and kill 5 or 6 enemies before you are even spotted. This was an ideal run where we have not been spotted at all and we could simply execute all of them. When you exit this location, you can also see there are no enemies this time standing around the car. So we simply skip this location and head back to the El Coyote bar and rinse and repeat. 
For leveling up my rifle skill I also made a rifle setup. This involves using the Moron Lab with a couple of crunch mods put inside it and I use exactly the same cyberware as for the pistol mod. Because it also involves using Camo and Thunder Viston at the same time, killing as much enemies as possible in the first three locations and then head down to the other ones. For pistols, rifles and even for blunt weapons and shotguns I always use my optical camo before I kill the first enemy from the first group. Then I try to kill all the first 9 enemies before the optical camo is over and then I head down to the next groups. The next couple of groups will likely create a big mess, even more so when you don't have a silenced weapon, so definitely even for rifles pick a silencer. You can basically do that for rifles the same way as you do it for pistols. Use Thunder Vistan together with your camo mod and then try to kill everyone before you run out of your stealth multiplier. The stealth multiplier is negated as soon as you are detected or when your optical camo runs out. So try to use the optical camo on the best location possible when you start the run and when you are entering the big NCBD location where there are 8 enemies. Because that can take significantly longer if you mess it up. If you have some necessary skills for the O5, you could simply also use the O5, place a single shot in the middle of every group, but that will certainly alert the other groups nearby. So the fastest way will probably still be by using the silenced weapons. For the shotguns, I prefer to use the VST Posar. When you do this farm for a very long time, it can be that some of these NPCs are not respawning anymore. But this normally doesn't happen before 8 pm in game time. So if you find that there are too many enemies missing and it is not profitable enough for you to do this run anymore, then simply completely exit the game and restart the game. Of course then you also have to go back to your apartment, take a nap to activate the XP booster, wake up at around 6 am in the morning, drink the coffee and then you have your XP booster and your speed booster set up again. Everybody should now be respawning again and you can do the farming again. And of course if you are done with all this farming I recommend you to do a cleanup and this will basically look like playing a vacuum cleaner sucking up all the boxes and brown bags and weapons lying around. Depending on how long you did the farming there will be so much loot that you will run out of capacity anyway. So I don't even bother in keeping my capacity limit, I just use a car to drive around from every location to the next one and then I simply jump in the car, go to the next drop box and sell off everything. That way you can also generate hundreds of thousands of money alongside by leveling up all your weapon skills. So this is also generating a nice side income for your money, but nothing beats the duplication glitch anyway. So I hope you will have a lot of fun doing this, drop Pacifica, Haywood is a new go to place for XP farming. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.